So I'm here with Lapoy, who's the executive head of Nedbank Home Loans Digital. And uh, she's just given a great talk at the show. And I'd like to find out what kind of advice can you give people that are wanting to come to a show? What can they expect at the Property Buyer Show in Cape Town? So I was amazed. Um, I think I told you guys earlier that I came here this afternoon thinking that I would be in the graveyard shift and I'm going to be speaking to five people. There is a lot of interest and a lot of thirst for knowledge in as far as what people need to consider when buying a home for the first time. So yeah. um, I think there's a lot of activity in the exhibition hall and there are lots of people who can give really insightful feedback around some of the things to consider. And I think from a bank's point of view, this is the perfect opportunity for any bank to be involved in this kind of initiative because now we actually can answer the real questions that people are asking. So when you come here, ask lots of questions, uh, make sure that you are interrogating all those speakers, so give us a hard time. <laughs> um, and really kind of immerse yourself in the, the wealth of information that is available around us um, so that you have a better way of making informed decisions when buying your home. Awesome, very good. Cool, so what are your top three tips for someone that's looking to buy a home right now? So I would say first off, do your research. Um, and use the available online tools that are available um, on various bank sites as well as on mortgage originator sites and estate agency sites. Things like calculators, pre-approval, bond indicators, estimators, those really are going to give you the insights that you need to check how much you qualify for when it comes to a bond. The second thing I would focus on is knowing what the costs are, all the costs upfront costs like the bank's fee, the attorney fees, SARS's fee, everybody gets a cut out of this, make sure you know what you're liable for. And then lastly, make sure that you have enough money to cover for any incidental costs that occur after you move in. So when you move in, you're going to find the mistakes. You're going to need the money to make sure that you can fix them. And then you're also going to need ongoing income to support things like rates and taxes, which you might not have paid for before. Thank you so much for talking to us and giving us some advice at the Property Buyer Show. It's an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks for Private Property, a home for everyone.